Hello, chat. Let me just see if everything sounds okay. Give me one second. That should be fine. What happened? Where's my... Here we go. Yeah. Let's take a peek. We're back. Yeah, We're doing Piccolo's episode today. Alright. Shall we commence? Piccolo is a character that I've always thought <clears throat> should have gotten more at pretty much the end of Z and in Super. <clears throat> the violent struggle with Raditz came to an end, but Piccolo hears news that more powerful Saiyans will arrive in one year. Having witnessed the latent and power working within Gohan, he decides to take the boy and train him for the coming battle. Oh, so we don't even get to fight Raditz. That's funny. For six months, he leaves him. He leaves him in the wilderness to fend for himself, watching his progress from the distance. Six months pass, and Gohan is still alive. <laughs> That's a good start to the sentence. Piccolo appears before him again, intent on training the boy. You've improved quite a bit, but you still haven't become a true fighter. The real training starts now. Are we fighting Gohan? Behind you! Smack the head. I couldn't see you. You were moving too fast. Your eyes will lie. Try to feel it. But I, I did feel it. That's the problem. Okay. <laughs> From now on, whenever you're not eating or sleeping, you're fighting with me. No, no, no way. I'll die for sure. Then get stronger. Stronger than me. Stronger than the Saiyans will be here in six months. This will stop you. Explosive demon wave. <clears throat> the boy has got to learn. This will stop you. Explosive demon wave. Over here. What's this one? It's over. Okay. Dodge this. He's just really angry at Goku, but can't do anything about it at the moment, so he's taking out of his anger on his son. Nope. Shit. <laughs> Oh, Slug! I forgot he's in this game. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Well, it seems that the last six months have wrung the crybaby out of you, at least. <laughs> yeah, but my dad used to tell me. He said, ever since you were reborn, you're not nearly as bad as you used to be. He said, now you're more grumpy than evil. <laughs> I don't know, I think he was kind of right. But, I mean, my mom is still totally scared of you and all. I do like their relationship. Stop blabbering and go to sleep. If you think today's training was hard, wait till you get a load of what I got in store for you tomorrow. Um, yes sir. Impudent little brat. How dare you tell me I'm grumpy. <clears throat> The two Saiyans, Vegeta and Nappa, arrive earlier than expected on Earth. P 
Piccolo, Gohan, and the others face off with this alien threat. Goku is alive again, but the fight cannot wait for him to arrive. At first, Piccolo and the others put up a good show against Nappa Cybermen. But they are unable to leave so much as a scratch on the Saiyans. Nappa steps up to the fight, brimming with more, with brimming with confidence. Out of my way. Oh no. <laughs> Don't worry. This will be over real soon. This will stop you. Explosive demon wave. No. Over here. Explosive demon wave. This will stop you. Bang. Explosive demon wave. This will stop you. Explosive demon wave. Nope. What's what's paralyzed beam? Oh no. God damn. It's over. Got it on there. This will stop you. Explosive demon wave. Nope. <coughs> Ah! Fuck's sake. Don't get carried away. Sorry to make you wait. Come on. Hope you're in peace. Special beam cannon! Ah, oh, man. Didn't finish him. This will stop you. Okay. Must have a short range. What's wrong? No. Fuck. Fuck no! This will stop you! Explosive of demon wave! <laughs> I don't know if it's Kakarot, but something is on the way. And whatever it is, its power level exceeds 5,000. <clears throat> That's the wrong number. Go, you, you, you're not doing the meme. <clears throat> Playtime is over! Eliminate them, now! We can't risk having all four team up on us! No! Piccolo! Let me! You just get out of there! And I... <laughs> and what kind of nonsense is that? Do you expect me to let you go head to head with this oaf all on your own? Don't and Piccolo! Keep me busy, huh? <laughs> if that's what the brat wants, let's go! Damn it! Krillin, get up. <laughs> what? Now, 
Now you're through! Die! <gasps> Why... Why did you do that? Just... run, Gohan! Look for it! So, I'm guessing his fight will be Frieza next. Piccolo, on the verge of death, shares a few final words with Gohan. Gohan, you're the only person I've ever known who didn't treat me like a monster. Piccolo, no! Just hold on! Please don't die! Thank, thank you, Gohan. Gohan. With Piccolo's death, Kami, who was a part of him, dies as well. And the Dragon Balls disappear. Yes. Let's not waste any time. <clears throat> Piccolo is returned to life by the, the power of the Dragon Balls and arrives on Planet Namek, his home world. Piccolo meets Nail, a Namekian warrior on the verge of death, and obtains astonishing power by fusing with him. You look good. You feel great. You can do this. If I'd known that merging with another being could result in this kind of power, I'd have sought it out years ago. Having received the mighty power up, Piccolo hurries to the aid of Gohan and Krillin. It's Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. So that's Frieza. I see. He's even more hideous than I imagined. Yet another Namekian who escaped my attention. This one is far more imposing than the others. No matter, he will soon join the rest of his kind in oblivion. You're a slippery one! Pause. Why you? Now I will have vengeance in the name of all the Namekians you slaughtered! What's wrong? Does this stop you? Oh! You scum should consider this in honor. You will be the first ones to ever lay eyes upon me in this next date. Prepare yourself. Is there no more Fraser? What do you think was it worth the wait? Now, if you're ready, let's begin round two, shall we? It's over! Oh, yeah? Dodge this! <laughs> that 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 last that last shot there was suggestive. Hello, Gohan joins the fray with Piccolo, pushing Frieza to transform even further. The overwhelming strength of Frieza now in his final form is too much for Piccolo and Vegeta. 
Goku then joins the battle, fully healed, and takes the fight to Frieza. But even Goku's strength is no match for Frieza, and they gradually start to lose ground. Damn it! I'm in real trouble now! What happened to all that energy you had a moment ago? Is that tiny reservoir of strength all dried up now? I can't take this anymore! Dad needs our help! I'm going in! Wait a minute! I think he's got something up his sleeve! A spirit bomb! Huh? A spirit bomb? Is that what I think it is? I've never seen a mass of energy that size! Frieza's wise to Goku's ploy. You two, listen up! Whatever happens, I forbid you to interfere in any way! Farewell! <laughs> Hurry, finish that spirit bomb before he comes back! Th thanks Piccolo. How is that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd all been taken care of! I hate to rush you, but something tells me Frieza's losing his patience. Hurry, launch it now! No! Not yet! Just a little bit longer! I'm beset on all sides by sneaking parasitic flies! This is more than I can stand! <laughs> nice, with what little they had left, they put it to good use. Okay, it's finally ready! Do it! What have you done? This is child's play! Your beastly tricks them! You dial! I will look! And then he gets pierced. <laughs> Frieza takes a direct hit from the spirit bomb and appears to be blown away. However, Frieza manages to survive. Frieza's attacks then defeats Piccolo and Krillin. However, Krillin has been killed once again. Seeing his friend killed before his very eyes, Goku explodes with rage and turns into a legendary Super Saiyan. With his newfound overwhelming strength, Goku easily defeats Frieza. As Frieza and Goku fight, Piccolo and the others are transported to Earth via the Dragon Balls. They are overjoyed to hear Goku's victory over Frieza via King Kai. Nail! And this is where the saga, where Piccolo kind of, in a way, loses its relevance to the story. <laughs> Let's not waste any time. Which is sad, because Piccolo deserves a lot more. <clears throat> the mysterious youth, Trunks, a visitor from the future. He tells of a pair of androids who will appear in three years' time that will kill Piccolo and the others. In order to avoid a terrible future, Piccolo, Go -Go Goku, and Gohan all begin training even harder. And then, three years later, just as Trunks warned, the androids appear in the city. So these are the fearsome androids, huh? Not quite the monsters I'd imagined. Piccolo and the others step up to prevent the destruction of the city while Goku faces off with Android 19. Huh? Go on, you see it too, right? Yeah, right. It seems his technique is rushed for some reason. Fights just started and Goku's wasting most of his power. That and his technique is sloppy. He then take his medication, the idiot. Well, he observed the battle, because I know for a fact that Piccolo did not fight 19, so... But it wouldn't be interesting to see... 
You know what? Let's do it. That's it. I'm stepping in. Mr. Piccolo? Piccolo? That's enough. Fall back, Goku. This enemy's mine. Seeing the pallor of Goku's face, Piccolo senses that something is wrong. He forces his way into the battle, removing Goku from the fight, and tags, in, tags Android 19 on himself. Do you actually think you can defeat us? Don't believe me? The results of my last three years of training are about to show you. <laughs> Okay. I was so happy with um superhero because Gohan and Piccolo have already lost a lot of relevance by that point. So the fact that Miffy made it about those two and they got the new forms and whatnot, it's like especially Piccolo because Piccolo hasn't gotten anything for so long. It's like oh good. It's like, I'm glad Piccolo is back in the fold again. God damn, I see. Nah, <laughs> one key blast. All of you stand aside. I'll trash these worthless puppets. Vegeta. Vegeta. Android 20 got away. Hey, Goku, what's your condition? Seems like the heart virus hasn't kicked in as we were expecting. Yeah, what? What happened to you? Yeah, but I can feel it setting in for sure. It was stupid of you not to bring the medicine in case this happened. At the very least, you should rest yourself. I'll swing by your place to pick up that medicine. In the meantime, why don't you head for Master Roshi's place and take it easy, okay, Goku? Thanks, Yamcha. And sorry for all the trouble. We'll keep up the pursuit of Android 20. <clears throat> Android 20 drains Piccolo's energy, threatening his life, but he is saved by the arrival of Gohan. However, the other androids in Dr. Jiro's laboratory awaken. Well, as much as I hate following Jiro's orders, the idea of us standing around here doing nothing all day is driving me up the wall. I thought we were going to fight, um, 20. 
The androids declare their intentions to hunt down Goku. Piccolo appears before them in order to put an end to their plans. I'll handle this. Come on. Just so you know, I won't be holding back. They're strong, but I can take them. If I had to choose between going into battle alongside the Namekian, the Earthlings, or Kakarot, I'd fight and die alone before accepting help from them. Beautiful speech. You know what? I would have gotten bored just watching anyway. So I'll jump in and we'll have a nice little two-on-two. -two. Have it your way. Alright, looks like I'm fighting you. I better watch myself. Shouldn't it be Piccolo for 17? God damn. Sign of exhaustion at all. Come out. Oh, she doesn't see me. Ah. This. Okay. This will stop you. Explosive demon wave. Yeah, nah. I was about to say, they didn't beat them full on. Let me fight alongside you. Not at this point. Gaihan doesn't fight 17, does he? Piccolo struggles against the androids, but with Gohan's intervention, things turn back in his favor. Witnessing Gohan in action, Piccolo sees the fruits of his labor from their three years of training. After the androids are driven off, Piccolo emerges with Kami in order to become even stronger. He also learns of the emergence of Cell, but trusting in the fervent potential of Gohan, he chooses to observe rather than to engage with the monster. Gohan's hidden potential is starting to come to the surface. If we combine our strength, we'd be a force to be reckoned with. Defeat the androids, that was the rest of Piccolo's thoughts. He heads to Goku to explain the situation, yeah. The virus is getting worse, isn't it? Yeah, but I can only take the medicine once it's completely infected me. Till I beat this thing, I'm not going to be all that useful in combat. They're way stronger than we thought. Three years training wasn't enough. So the only way we're gonna stand a chance now is to train some more. Piccolo, I had wanted to train with Gohan in the hyperbolic time chamber. Oh. Uh, would you go and train with him in my place? He has so much potential. I know you could bring out his latent power. But, but Dad, you're sure I have a power like that within me? Gohan, listen to me. I know you do, and I know you can feel it. You've already gotten so strong with your training as it is. 
Think of how much further you could go! <laughs> the hyperbolic time chamber, huh? All right, sounds like a good plan. I definitely did something here to trigger this because this definitely did not happen in um the show. But this training won't be exclusively for Gohan's benefit. I want to make sure that I too can keep holding my own in this battle. Mr. Piccolo, that sounds great. I'll work really hard. Piccolo and Gohan decide to use the hyperbolic time chamber, but Vegeta and Trunks say they will enter fir first, forcing them to wait. However, during that time, the androids arrive at, arrive at Kame House, and Piccolo winds up having to fight Android 17. <laughs> Aww. 17 and 18. I found you at last! I was hoping we'd get to fight 17. That's a shame. Then Cell suddenly arrives, seizing an opportunity to absorb 17. Then he then achieves his second form. That's such a shame. To be absorbed. <laughs> what? Absorbing that android made it stronger. Go on. We need to buy some more time. Okay. Understood. Black grenade. What happened there? Oh, I still got him, never mind. You're going down. Damn. No, you don't. But your heart virus. Oh, for God's sake. Goku turns Super Saiyan and fights Cell to a standstill, buying time for Android 18 to get away. But pushing himself too hard finally causes Goku's heart virus to flare up. Just before losing consciousness, Goku asks Piccolo to take care of Gohan, which renews his friend's resolve. At the same time, Vegeta and Trunks finish their training, leaving Piccolo and Gohan to enter the hyperbolic time chamber. My body feels heavy! And it's so hot I can barely breathe! We have to be in here for a whole year? We have all the food and drink we need. It's the perfect environment to focus on training. So what kind of training are we going to be doing? More than anything, we need you to be able to become a Super Saiyan like your father. Then you need to go further beyond even that. But first, I'll be focusing on sharpening the parts of your skill set that are still a bit rough around the edges. Got it? Where should we start?
Um, hmm. I don't know. He needs a stable mind in order to control his power. I'll begin with giving him more experience in physical combat. I wonder what difference each one makes. Um... Physical? No. Um... Control his power? Might be it? You have latent power that surpasses even Goku's strength. But you need to control your emotions so you can wield that power. In this fight, I'm gonna push you to your limit. You need to keep yourself grounded and maintain your anger. Now come on! Control my emotions. Okay, I'll give it a try. I get that you don't have a passion for fighting, and that's all well and good. But your pacifism won't mean squat if the world gets destroyed. Now come on! Contain your anger, your fear, and your anxiety. Then let them all explode. What is going on? <laughs> Become stronger for merging with Kami. You fought extremely well against me. You're less than dirt. Hell yeah. Be gone. You're killing the boy, Piccolo. Okay. Keep working on it. Don't forget that feeling. Piccolo and Gohan emerged from the hyperbolic time chamber after one year. So this is basically just what if Goku and Piccolo's roles have switched. Essentially. For this part. Learning that the solo games will be held in 10 days' time, Piccolo continues to help Gohan train while Goku completes his recovery. Piccolo sees the progress Gohan has made and finds himself also wanting to become stronger. The day of the solo games finally comes. So, who will be going up against me first? Will it be Goku? Ooh, or perhaps Vegeta? Piccolo? I know damn well how powerful Cell has become in his perfect form, even before the fight's begun. But this is what I've trained for. Cell, I am prepared to be your first opponent. Man, we're just really changing the whole rat here, are we? What? Mr. Piccolo, are you sure? Relax, I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm... Just making them easy. I'm just roughing them up for you. Final Piccolo. He's got a plan in mind. So I say we let him do his thing. I'll give it all I've got. Even if there's only the slightest chance of winning. My, my. This is a delightful surprise. Piccolo! But I'm in a gracious mood, so I'll allow you to show me your progress. Good. The training I've endured all this time has been for the sole purpose of taking you down. So let's go. So go on then. Show me everything you can do. Light grenade. Hope you're at peace. Be gone. Yeah. <laughs> 
shit. Come on, man. Fuck me. Interesting. Your improvements are actually quite remarkable. Unfortunately, there's still not enough to surpass mine. What the hell? <laughs> I don't think... Nah, okay. God damn! Well, fuck. This is fun. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, wow. Well, okay. So go on then. Show me everything you can do. Hope you're at peace. Be gone. I have. Light grenade. Goodness. The surprises just keep on coming. You're definitely strong, but... Damn! Jeez, man. I've tried hitting them with a like mid animation, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Your improvements are actually quite remarkable. Unfortunately, there's still not enough to surpass mine. Start taking this seriously then. Come on, 
I thought you were ready to fight me. Or are you just ready to surrender? <laughs> he's... He's gonna kill Mr. Piccolo! Stop it! So that's how they're doing it. Okay. Stop! Wow! Huh? Now that's some energy. Fantastic! I do believe my next opponent has already been decided. I thought what they're gonna do was they're just gonna do have Piccolo do the same thing that Goku did and just have like a oh I quit Gohan come up here, but no they didn't do that. It's just Cell just beating the shit out of Piccolo and almost killing him. And <laughs> Cell doesn't even need to kill um sixteen for Gohan to go to the next state. Intrigued by his new power before him, Cell attacks Gohan with gusto. We're not done. Piccolo jumps in to protect Gohan, but there's only one challenge as Cell wishes to face. Actually, we are. Leave him alone! Wow. Huh. doing finish him it's all up to you what do you want me to end it already <laughs> i'm not letting him off that easy he deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through <laughs> go on <sighs> i'm calm mr piccolo for a moment there i was completely blinded with rage when I thought about my training with you, I came back to my senses. Good. You've learned much. Cell, you wanted to become the ultimate life form, right? Well, you can't beat me now, so you should give up. So one more time, I ask that you surrender. Very interesting. Oh, never mind. We still get him... Okay. Gohan's recommendation that Cell surrender at least serves to enrage the android, who launches into a frenzied attack. Gohan counterattacks, which causes Cell to spit up Android 18. That's wording. Uh, cornered, Cell opts for a new technique. Instead, he begins to expand. He decides to self-destruct and take out all of Earth with him. But before he can explode, Goku uses instant transmission to teleport him to King Kai's planet. Goku's sacrifice seems to have saved Earth at first, but Cell then regenerates into an even more powerful form and returns to the arena via his own instant transmission. Gohan takes further damage as he protects Vegeta. What's wrong? Where did all that confidence disappear to? No, he's become more powerful than ever. <laughs> Now it's my turn to torture you before I kill you. <laughs> I, I won't let you! No! Oh, for the love of... Have you still <laughs> not realized that I'm done with you? Stand aside or die! I told you I wasn't done. This is still my fight, too. Go on. I'll buy you some time. Rest until you're ready to finish him. <sighs> right! You won't survive this time! Buying some time, are you? <laughs> How much? Maybe a few measly seconds? You won't survive this time! Light grenade! Fight with everything you've got! Too slow! You won't survive this time. You're less than dirt. Cool. Be gone. This was all you had. <laughs> you should have known when to stay on the bench. I know my limits better than anyone. But still. 
Mr. Piccolo! You won't survive this time! No more! Light grenade! You won't survive this time! Too slow! God damn, man. You won't survive this time. Light grenade. Piss off. You won't be able to outrun me. Well, fuck. Yeah, try it again. You won't survive this time. Buy some time, are you? <laughs> How much? Maybe a few measly seconds? Be gone! Over here! Too slow! Damn it! God damn. This is so annoying. Oh my god. You won't survive this time. Oh, fuck off of that cell. I know my limits better than anyone. He's still down. Still. Mr. Piccolo. Nice work. Oh, you cheeky fucker. You won't survive this time. You're less than dirt. Be gone! Hell's a grenade! <laughs> There's no escaping me. Oh, what is the point? Oh, he's not saying me. Light grenade! Oh, wow, okay. Come on, what are you gonna do? Shit. Fun has run out. I'm going to destroy this planet and wipe you all out at once. <sighs> He's wide open. The special beam cannon might work on him now. Really? Okay. Take a lie, what the hell? It's not working, Piccolo. He's blocking. Why do you lie to me, Piccolo? You won't survive this time. Damn! You won't survive this time. Hope you're at peace. Be gone. It's so annoying when he throws key blasts. You won't survive this time. Fuck! I'm not lowering difficulty. Fuck off. You won't 
survive this time. Buying some time, are you? <laughs> How much? Maybe a few measly seconds? Life grenade! You won't survive this time. Too slow. Over here. Forget it. Oh man. What? Where is he? There he is. Oh, I hate when he does that. You won't survive this time. Fucking. Oh my god, stop it. You won't survive this time. Over here. Oh, this is the most annoying fight. <laughs> Get him! Get his ass! Not gonna work. You won't survive this time. Fuck! Why is this fight so fucking tough? Well, that got him. Too slow. Damn it. You won't survive this time. Oh, come on. What's annoying is I don't have. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on, what are you gonna do? Okay. There's no 
escaping me. Let's go. What are you gonna do, Sal? You won't survive this time. You're less than dirt. The fun has run out. I'm going to destroy this planet and wipe you all out at once. <sighs> He's wide open. The special beam cannon might work on him now. What I might do is I'll wait for him to do that beam move that he does. And then use the special beam cannon. Come on. You won't survive this time. No, that's not what I want you to do. Come on, dude. Come on. Do your thing. Man! No, you don't. Yep, yep, yep. You won't survive this time. Fuck me. You won't survive this time. Not what I wanted. Do forget. I have excess a lot more with this skill. God damn it. No! Yeah, fuck it, I'll just do this. It's hard to hit him. It's so hard to hit him with the special beam cannon because he blocks all of it, and it's really hard to find the right time to hit it. Sparking episode? What? Huh? Me? Huh? Me? With that much energy, you could actually beat Cell. I don't think so. <clears throat> no good. Their power's evenly matched, so I'd better tip the scale. See you in hell! That's what Vegeta did. Over? Go on. You're alive. Yeah. 
I'm okay. But I was a fool. I didn't finish Cell when I had the chance, and now Dad... No. Don't blame yourself. Even if Goku had been fighting in your place, things likely would have gone the same. You two are so alike. It's hilarious. What you share isn't being naive. It's compassion for even your worst enemies. And it's because of that compassion that I'm still alive to this day. Mr. Piccolo! Gohan, be proud of the man you are. Your kindness isn't a weakness. In fact, it's your greatest strength. Someday, I want to become just as strong as you and Dad, Mr. Piccolo. Will you help me? Wow. You grow up fast, kid. Wait, what? We're not done? What'd I do? Did I trigger a what if by accident? I did. Okay. So. Okay. Let's not waste any time. We can skip all this because we've seen it. Uh, we did this, so now we observe. He's usually not this sloppy. If he was fighting at his full capability, this android would already be a pile of scrap. This is the true timeline. As the fight continues, the heart virus takes hold of Goku, and Goku is greatly impacted. Piccolo and the others attempt to save Goku, but Android 20 stands in their way. The crisis is averted by an unlikely saviour, Vegeta. Vegeta uses his overwhelming strength to smash Android 19 to pieces. However, Android 20 manages to get away. And then, as they search for him, Android 20 manages to get the jump on Piccolo. I was wondering where this fight was as well, where we did the what if. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Gohan, come to me quickly. The android is... Yes, you're almost completely sapped of power. In a few more seconds, you'll be dead. What? There's no way he could have found us so quickly! Vegeta, back off! He's mine! Da -da. Don't interfere, he says. <laughs> Excellent! He's handing me another opportunity to absorb his strength. And the second I do... What are you whimpering about over there, huh? Come meet your doom. Over here. This will stop you. Explosive demon word. Come meet your doom. This will stop you! Explosive demon wave! Oh man! This will stop you! Explosive demon wave! Come meet your doom! It's over. Over here. Damn it. 
It's over. Come meet your doom. Don't you mock me. Come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Jirai? Come meet your doom. Sorry Fuck it. Okay. I'll find you. Prepare yourself. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come meet your doom. This will stop you. No, not that. I didn't want to do that. I want to do the other one. It's over. Come meet your doom. Prepare your Useless. It's over. Ha <laughs> ha. Your doom. It's over. Oh, just hit him, man. Don't you mock me. Sorry to make you wait. Hope you're in peace. Special beam cannon. There we go. Piccolo proves himself stronger than Android 20, but the Android finds an opening to escape. It then comes to light that Android 20 is actually Dr. Jirai, the Red Ribbon Army scientist. Having escaped, Dr. Jirai awakens Android 17 and the others. Piccolo and the others are powerless in the face of this new threat. The androids lose interest in Piccolo and go looking for Goku. Sensing a need of greater strength, Piccolo powers up by merging with Kami. And at that time, a strange mon monster appears on Earth. Piccolo heads towards the creature, sensing a terrible emerging emanating from it. Now, you tell me Hello, you brother. Me. Make it quick. Talk or else. I try to make a habit of not talking to me. <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, come on. Shit. Come on, get up.
I was wondering, did he not see me or something, or...? Before you add me to your collection, you are at least going to tell me this. What sort of abomination are you? My name is Cell. I am an android. I was created by the computer in Dr. Giraud's secret laboratory. That lunatic again, huh? Years ago, Dr. Giraud began collecting cell samples from the world's greatest fighters, hoping to synthesize their DNA and create the ultimate android. However, I cannot become truly perfect until I have absorbed two highly specialized life forms. And what sort of specialized life forms are you talking about? The ones I need are two of Dr. Giraud's other creations. Android 17 and 18. And once I achieve my perfect form, I will be invincible! The greatest power the universe has ever known! Hang on, I just want to pause on this for a second. I just want to look at Admire Cell's face. That's a good face. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. All right. I've heard plenty. That you... You tricked me! It was all a ploy to get me to talk! Now that I know what you are, I know how to stop you. Okay. Sell that flare! Piccolo pushes to the end, to the end of the fight, but Cell uses solar flare and escapes. While Goku and Vegeta are training in the hyperbolic time chamber, the androids arrive at Kame House, looking for Goku. As their questions about Goku's whereabouts post the risk of turning into violence, Piccolo takes them to a barren island and prepares to fight. Yes! About to get in this fight. Go ahead, show me what you've got. What? What? You're finished! What? Looks like you're all out of moves, Android! Nice try, but still not enough. Huh. <laughs> you wait, I'm still just getting started. Okay, good. Don't expect me to go easy on you this time. Light grenade. Over here. Over here. Nope. Damn, that's so... Ah, ah. So caught up in the battle. Damn it. I didn't sense him coming. Okay, now who is this freak? It's fine. What's wrong? There they are. A beast for the eyes. The two androids that I will absorb to complete my design and realize my perfect form. Not so fast. Your fight is with me. <laughs> He's going to suck. <laughs> Seventeen, go. Get away from him. Bye bye. 
I was hoping we actually get a full on fight though with 17. But no. Sadly not. Piccolo is unable to stop Cell, who absorbs both 17 and 18, achieving his perfect form. Having achieved his perfect form, Cell proposes to Cell Games, a place for any who wish to challenge him to meet their fate. Piccolo joins his friends in training for the Cell Games. Time quickly passes and the day of the Cell Games soon arrive. Goku goes first, followed by Gohan. Piccolo watches Gohan in combat. Uh, is that... Gohan? The anger at the pain inflicted on his friends causes Gohan to awaken to a vast reserve of power, completely overwhelming Cell. Cell resorts to self-destruction, costing Goku his life, but after a desperate struggle, Gohan finally eradicates Cell. Piccolo sees how much Gohan has grown, how far he has come, and is pleased. Yeah, I thought so. Because Piccolo doesn't really get any real fights after that. Which is why I'm, ha I'm really happy that, um... Superhero exists. Because Piccolo was really the main character of that movie. Wait, what? What's the... Oh, I'll figure out the question mark later. But that is Piccolo's episode done. What's that icon on the top... Right. What is that? It might have something to do with the what if, possibly. We got trunks next, but we won't do that today. We'll do that another time. Let's up online works. Because I've been trying to get in some online matches, but. Who I'm gonna be fighting first. Yeah. I, I don't know what the problem is. Alright, let's do a tournament then. Cell games. The world has their eyes on the cell games. The fight for the fate of the world begins now. Well, since we're at the cell games, let's play as cell. My turn. Oh wow. This is going to be a feast for the eyes. The is about to begin. <laughs> Allow me to show you the horror of perfection. <laughs> you mean business. The whole world has their eyes on the cell games. The fight for the fate of the world begins now. You won't survive this time. Come on, show me your best. Oh, I'm afraid victory for you is rather unlikely. Maybe I should take you a little seriously. Nope. No, stay back. Don't come any closer. I wonder how will this battle shake? You won't survive this time. 
Aww. Get fuck old eye. He's a dog treat. <laughs> what a shameful way to go out. <laughs> Napa. There are only a few matches in the tournament left, folks. It's time for the semifinals. My precious modeling career. <laughs> Allow me to show you the horror of perfection. <laughs> You're not too smart. You think you could beat a true Saiyan? The whole world has their eyes on the cell games! The fight for the- yeah. Saw through that one like a window! You won't be able to outrun me. You won't survive this time! Come on! Show me your best! You won't survive this time. I wonder how will this last shape? Too slow. <laughs> Maybe I should take you a little seriously. Bye, Nappa. No, no, he's still here. You won't survive this time. Gross. He, he didn't know who I was. <laughs> what a shameful way to go out. Cell versus cell. Okay. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Which one of you idiots will give me a good fight? Oops, sorry. The whole world has their eyes on the cell games. The fight for the fate of the world begins now. Come on, show me your best. Move. You won't survive this time. Forget it. Nice work. You won't survive this time. You won't be able to outrun me. You won't survive this time. You managed to dodge Got that. Very nice. You won't survive this time. What a ruthless blow! I wonder how this battle shakes. You won't survive this time. What a crying shame. Oh, I'm afraid victory for you. Get fucked. Unlikely. <laughs> What a shameful way to go out! <laughs> this contestant made it through some fierce battles to claim their well-earned glory! Amazing! Congratulations on your victory! Thanks, I made the tournament. Cell Junior! The fiercest fighters have gathered here today! I am. It's good to see you, Dad. I am curious on what those Yamcha games I'm gonna be like. Uh, contestant number seventeen, would you like to give a comment? What's with the grain? Contestant Tian Shinha, 
Sean, do you have anything to say about the fight? I don't understand the um, matchmaking on here because for a little bit I can get into games, but then for the rest of the day I just can't. So I'm not sure if it's just their servers or something or. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I want to try out the um, preset custom battles they've already had. These ones, bonus battles. So I've done that. Unlocked by beating a certain battle, okay. Master Roshi's training. Hopefully it's not what it was. Oh, Kid Goku. Okay, I want to I want to do this one, actually. I think it's time you show me the results of your training. Fine. What do you suggest? Well, now. Time to sparring with me. Show me your new technique. Here goes nothing. Don't get hurt out there, Grandpa. Master Roshi's training. I brought that back from the other game. That's nice. What's this one? Oh my god! Monkey fist! Defeat you with rocks, scissors, paper? Okay. Damn it! Off we go. Now it's my turn. You flew over him. No, that's Monkey Fist. That's Monkey Fist. Oh, there's a timer. Shit. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the flying Nimbus. That's awesome. Rock, scissors, paper. Did I do it? Idiot, you weren't listening, were you? Heh heh heh, couldn't help it. I call I do weather for training. Okay. What? What I do? But. What do you want me to do? Hang on. No, 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 go back. I could have sworn Roshi said beat you with rocks, scissors, paper. Hang on. Master Roshi's training. Go back, go, I forgot to look at something. Hang on. No, 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 not that. Um...
Okay. I thought I thought the tips was there to tell me what exactly to do in this fight, but training, yep. I have to pay attention to the actual dialogue that's going at the bottom, I think. What do you want me to do, Roshi? Defeat you with Kamehameha, okay? That's what I'm gonna do! Defeat you with rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so he just wants me to... Alright. Defeat you with your strongest power. Right. Hopefully this will do it. Hopefully they did it. What does Roshi want me to do? Yeah, at the bottom of the screen, he, he keeps telling me to change up how to beat him. And the last thing he told me that far was beat me with the strongest power, and I did. I used my ult. So I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. Okay, now what? Defeat you the strongest power. He keeps changing it. <laughs> Oh my god, go away! Why is my health going down? Okay. What does he want me to do? What does he want me to do? Like, hang on, nah, I'm, I'm looking this shit up. Um, Master Roshi's training, Sparking Zero.
He'll change what he says during battle. You have to pay attention. Uh, I think he needs to say defeat me with Kamehameha first for it to count, then you do it. Uh, you need to be paying attention to his text and use it at the right, at the right one at the last moment. Make sure... Rock, paper, scissors. That should count. I fucking did it. <laughs> that, that was stupid. These are the results of my training. Let's pick up where we left off tomorrow. Right. There we go. Christ. No! God, no. Turless, huh? Turless attempts to absorb Earth's power using the Tree of Might. Everyone thought Goku's attack had been fatal. But the plucky fighter managed to escape to universe. Hehehehe, <laughs> so the time has come. It's finally time for me to get revenge on that wretched Kakarot. You're still alive, Turles. Huh? Who are you? You're not going to get your weight today. Well, well, you've grown up, boy. Wait your turn. I've got to kill Kakarot first. Dad's not here anymore, but if you're that desperate, I'll fight you and myself. Avenger returns. There you go. I'll unleash my true power. I feel like it will. Oh, really? Come on. Just die, man. Just die. <laughs> you and your... Kakarot has already fallen. Who will I take revenge on now? 
without any Dragon Ball, you won't come back from this. Doesn't this mean we can bring? Doesn't this mean we can bring Kakarot back? Wherever you go back or not depends on Dad. Hehe, <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. I'll be sending you back to Otherworld again. Mwahahahahaha! What incredible determination! Is Dad gonna be coming back? He never leaves. Turles! Him and his fetish of trees. Welcome to Freezer Force. Oh god, Nappa. Freezer attempts to wipe out the entire planet along with its people. But by some miracle, Saiyan is still alive. Wiped out by a meteorite. This is a disgrace. You Saiyans disappoint me. Elite warrior, you guys are way tougher than the rest of them, right? You think you can prove your worth to me? Prove yourself to me and you can join the Freezer Force. Well now. Let's see what you got first. Welcome to Freezer Force. Come on, Nappa. Damn. Okay. Come on, Nappa. Nappa, come on, get up. Okay. That looks so bad. Okay. Quee. I'm trying to look for you too. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Nappa, I need you alive, dude. Okay. It's off. It's off.
Come on, what are you gonna do? Oh, fuck it. Damn. <laughs> Not Doria? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know where he is. There he is. Piss off the Doria. No. Okay. He doesn't see me. Hell yeah. Zabon, there he is. Shit. Fuck. Okay. I don't know if this will hit. Okay. This ends right now. That noise. <laughs> okay. And now the last one, hopefully. Where is he? There he is. I see him. What? What happened? You really know how to get on my nerves, Saiyan. You're not fit to be my subordinate. Disappear. What'd I do? I didn't die. What did I do wrong? What? Hang on. What's this called? Welcome to Fraser Force. Test your sane strength. Yep. It's a pretty demanding task. 
Here's how to complete it. Sparking Zero has a few hidden rules that aren't explicitly shown in the designated page. However, if you browse through his view effects section, you'll notice several restrictions can ultimately lead to your demise based on the quest description. I can't perform an ultimate attack. But that's what's gone me so far, though. You cannot emote or use an ultimate attack or perform an ultimate attack on Freezer. Oh, so I'm, I'm fine using it I'm fine using on the others, but yeah, you cannot use an emote or perform an ultimate attack on Freezer during the fight. I wish I knew that earlier. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh well, I do have the end stream here anyway, so... We might do it on another stream, or might do it off screen. I don't know. Wow. Thank you for watching again. I'll be back on most probably tomorrow for oh, actually. Hang on, what time is it? Oh yeah. Um, I'll be back on hopefully tomorrow with Trunks' episode and whatever it is that we do after that. Um, thank you for watching again. Uh, have a good night, day, or evening wherever you are, and have a good one. That is the wrong button. I'm failing at ending this stream a lot. Stop broadcast. There we go.